Chief Wonder has worked in Green Valley for so many years and been our chief for quite a while now. And we really rely on him every, every day, every week, he and his staff to make sure our residents at La Posada are safe. And through COVID, he worked uh, with everyone, uh, all kinds of organizations to bring uh, the first really large COVID vaccination to Arizona. Green Valley has always looked to take care of its own, and that's what makes us kind of unique. Uh, our community partnerships have always come together to rely on that and to lobby for one another and to really, quite frankly, take care of one another in these challenging times. So when this pandemic came about, it was easy for me to reach out. I had no uh, reservations that the, the help was going to be there. I knew who to contact immediately, and I knew the answer was going to be yes right off the bat. And that's a wonderful feeling to have as a fire chief. Uh, that you can count on these people. I reached out to the Sheriff's Auxiliary. Of course, Chief, we're on it. I reached out to our SIR team. Of course, we're on it. Uh, we had volunteers, you know, any community partner you wanted to reach out to, we'll send you bodies. We don't know what they'll do, but the bodies will come. They'll direct traffic, they'll park cars. And it's great to be able to rely on that in the community. Chief Wonder had a really good plan when he set up how we were gonna run the pod at the hospital and um, Everybody knew what position they were supposed to do, what their job was, and we all did it. And I thought it came off really great. It was really fulfilling in, um, in a lot of ways. It was gratifying to see a team form uh, and leadership take place there. And people, you know, people can do amazing things when there's a common goal and a common objective. I was very proud of living here in Green Valley because of that. We're blessed to be very well trusted. We consider ourselves as just part of the community. These are our grandparents, these are our moms and dads, these are just uh, other family members for us in here. And because we have that relationship, when you end up in times like this, the community trusts you and looks at you uh, for that guidance and, and leadership in those times of trouble. He stepped up and it would have been very easy for him to say that's not my job and that never comes out of Chuck's mouth. He's always just a huge part of this community and it doesn't necessarily have to be fire medical. He sees a need. If they can step up and help and participate, they do.